Baikonur Cosmodrome, April 2013. The Soyuz 2.1 rocket, developed in Samara, is about to be launched. The rocket contains equipment to study organisms in space, as well as an ICED, a microsatellite developed by scientists and students of Samara State Aerospace University. ICED will be sent into orbit to help the scientists predict natural and ecological disasters, to control the state of oil and gas pipelines and study the Earth's magnetic field. The launch of the first ICED was a success. Two microsatellites of this type are currently functioning in circumterrestrial space. This allowed Samara State Aerospace University to become one of the few universities in the world having their own orbit group. SSAU also developed a system of space data importation and processing. The first satellite developed by SSAU was launched in 1989. Six spherical satellites were launched within the next three years by 1992. This trend was created back then, and now our students are in fact developing devices and satellites, which are used for space research. Our objective is to make every student's final project more than just an explanatory note to a diploma. It should be a developed nano-satellite. Three nano-satellites are currently in use in the university's laboratories. SAMSAT-218 will be launched in 2015, aimed to test the new technologies developed by SSAU. The launch of the second nano-satellite is planned for 2016. It's being developed under an international program of Earth's geophysical fields monitoring, which was initiated by the Belgian von Kármán Institute. It's a large international project which implies development of a group consisting of 50 nano-satellites, jointly solving a global fundamental problem of thermosphere research. Among tens of other nano-satellites, the Russian one, developed by the Department of Space Research of SSAU, the only Russian university participating in the project, will be a chance for the scientists to test their theoretical research in practice and thus prepare for the launch of the third satellite. The latter will consist of only home-produced components. We are going to develop our own nano-satellite in 2017. It will allow us to get photos of the Earth's surface. So we are trying to make a step towards this catchword, the import substitution. A special program for development of nano-satellite technologies is based in SSAU. Satellites made by our students will be launched in orbit on annual basis. We continue the development of a manoeuvring unit for nano-satellites and keep working on the original technology of their separation during a passing launch. This means that the Russian space industry can retain its global leadership and keep enriching humanity with new discoveries.